This is the rundown with Rubio for Thursday, October 24th, 2024. Everything happens for a reason. Stacey Williams, a former supermodel slash also worked for a Barack Obama, has accused El Trump of groping her back in 1993. Very, very odd that it took her 31 years to figure this out. Uh, when, all of a sudden, she's got the courage to do it. And if, she, if so, you know, more power to you. It took 31 years. But the, the irony is that it's coming out 12 days before the election. Um, El Trump has been running for president two other times before this, and it's 31 years later. It seems kind of odd, and it's just it's just one of those things that it, it, the coincidence of the timing is just so weird, and not a lot of people are running with the story because she's got a signature of some sort, and it's not even the same type of signature that he did back in 1993. Why did it take her 31 years? And it's one of those things that if, if we're going to believe all women, then we'll have to see how it goes for other cases as well, and I'll get to that in a, re in a second. There are winners and losers in life. Justin Trudeau, the Canadian prime minister, just posted about significantly reducing the number of immigrants coming into Canada for the next two years. This is temporary to pause our population growth and let our economy catch up. <laughs> this is the same guy in 2017 wrote, come one, come all, everyone, let's go, let's go. And I speak to a lot of Canadians. I know I have a lot of Canadian friends. They're fantastic people, terrible food, but fantastic people. And they will tell you right out of the gate, it's overrun. This is no longer Canada the way you knew it. It's not even the same. There's protests going down every single street. We're not exactly sure what's going on. It does not look like the Canada of old. So they've imported all these people from all over the other countries, and now they're saying, um, we, we've got to pause. We, we opened the door too much. Yeah. What did you think was going to happen, man? What did you think was going to happen? Accept and embrace. Remember, this is what I was talking about earlier. We're going to come back to this. The Daily Mail has an article out where Doug Emhoff, Doug Emhoff is the second gentleman, or in other words, Kamala's husband. Basically, he has an ex-girlfriend that speak, spoke out finally, and he slapped her so hard that she spun around. Okay, so she they were at the Cannes Festival. She went to touch a valet and just basically say, hey, we need our car, blah, blah, blah. He did not like this, got a little jealous. Boom, slapped this girl so hard she spun around. That's a pretty heavy slap. And this is, we've got four people that heard about this and talked about it because she called some dude in New York at the same time and said, I got to get on the phone with you as she jumped into a cab and Doug Emhoff jumped in the cab with her. So this happened quite some time a while ago. And so you're saying, oh, well, 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 too long ago. Okay, then who do we believe? Do you believe all women? like the Democrats say, or we don't believe this woman. So which women do we believe? Do we believe the one that groped Trump? Or do we believe this one that said she got slapped by Doug Emhoff? Is it, what's the line? That's what I'm asking. Working hard is not enough. Going back to Trump, there was an Atlantic article that came out just two days ago. Weird how all this coincidence is 13 days before the election. Stating El Trumpo didn't want to pay for a Mexican soldier's funeral because it cost $60,000. Okay. Her family's already debunked that. And he also wanted governors like Hitler. Hitler. That's been debunked because no one was in the room that actually heard that. But it's still the number one story on the mainstream media. They're still leading with this, going crazy. Well, it turns out the owner of the Atlantic is a female, and she is the bet one of the good, good friends with Kamala. Like when Kamala, Kamala got her senator photo, she was in the photo with her. Oh, and it also turns out this woman, the owner of the Atlantic, is also huge friends with Jazane Maxwell. Hmm. Remember, that's Epstein's, uh, let's say, right-hand woman. And weird. How, remember how El Trump said if he gets in, he's going to release the Epstein list. There's probably a lot of people that don't want El Trumpo in. Hmm. Another coincidence. Confidence is the key. Joanna Olson Kennedy, Joanna Olson Kennedy buried her own study. So she did this study, she's a doctor, that shows puberty blockers don't work. They don't help kids. Okay. The New York Post, the New York Times posted an article stating the US study on pub, public puberty blockers goes unpublished because of politics. What? So they specifically did not publish this story because it was going to get political. Uh, yeah. The leader of the long-running study said that the drugs did not improve mental health in children with gender distress and that the finding might be weaponized by opponent of the care. It, well, yeah. If it's not helping them mentally and destroying their bodies physically, yeah. You know what the opponents are going to say? 100%. Um, this study shows by this doctor that it, this is bad for the kids. But the doctor who made the study didn't publish it because she didn't want that to happen. Hey, honey, aren't, aren't you supposed to be helping kids in the long run? And the, you hit it to hinder them. This is insane. This lady should be locked away for a long, long time. 
If you have any questions, you can email Rubio at therubiomethod.com. Let's get going, gang. Our dedicated staff is ready to work for you. Artbeat specializes in custom apparel. Call us or order online. Free shipping nationwide. Custom printed shirts are our specialty, and we make sure you get exactly what you want. Bring in your own design or let our team create one for you. Promote your business, event, or club with pens, caps, bottles, mugs, and more. Crazy cool since 1985.